meteorologist Mark Mulner is your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Let's go right into viewer sending in photos and videos really quickly here. Derek Rentschler from basically Coleman Park taking a look at some beautiful photos here of some fall foliage. He's getting into the peak variety pretty shortly here if not already there. Looking very nice, beautiful collage of photos. Also looking here at Lions Lake as well park here. Take a look at that. Beautiful across Lebanon County, Pennsylvania just to the east northeast of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Looking very beautiful to say the least here. Nice shots here at Derek Runchler and South Hills Park looking very colorful as well. Look at these picturesque landscapes here. A lot of color going on here. They're not as affected as the their neighbors to the north and to northeast Pennsylvania and the southern tier of New York where we were really affected by heavy rains early in the season that caused a fungus on the maple trees cutting down on the reds, but very nice, beautiful foliage here from all three of these parks, Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. Thank you, Derek Rentschler, for showing that beautiful photoscape off here. Taking a look at the tropics, take a look at this. We have Tropical Storm Rena here. Spinning in the open North Atlantic, will not be affecting anybody. The only thing is it'll become tropical. Pretty strong storm affecting places like Ireland and Great Britain, but by that time it'll be extra tropical. Let's get right into the tropical factors. Taking a look, it's really becoming a hostile environment here. You see the jet stream really racing across the U.S. East Coast here up into the North Atlantic. And this time of year, things really start to cool off a bit. Heading right on into the precipitation outlook for the United States and Southern Canada here. Look at this. Looking really interesting here. Getting some beneficial rains out west here and along the U.S. South east here from basically Texas, Louisiana, all the way over to Georgia and the Carolinas here looking at some rainfall possibilities even into the northeast here but some of this will be on the snowfall variety. Thankfully it won't be enough to accumulate so I won't have to get out the snowfall tar charts just yet but that's just right around the corner and we will have some winter like temperatures. Let's get right into the pattern here. We're going to trough out west. We're going to ridge it a little bit here in the east with, or uh, into the central portion with a high pressure. And look at this here into the northeast. That's where we get into the proverbial trough. And this could set up some trouble towards the weekend. Let's get right into the fall foliage report. I'm showing you from Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. He's getting into that peak area right around the Harrisburg area, southern Poconos, those areas. And we're pretty much past peak in the twin tiers of upstate New York, northeast Pennsylvania, getting right into the Catskills, Poconos, Adirondacks. You're already past peak well up into New England here as well. Get out there and enjoy it for those of you that are still nearing peak. Let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your Wednesday midpoint of the week. Look at this, looking nice and sunny, but cool. But here's the thing, it's going to get much colder than this. Enjoy this because the upper 40s and low 50s will be a fading memory into your Thursday. Take a look at this. We get some showers starting to show up here, especially into the Allegheny Plateau in southeastern New England here. We start to cool the temperatures down, especially in the western sections here into your Friday. Look at this. This is what I was talking about. Cold front pushes off the U.S. East Coast, ushers in that northwest flow. Wow, is it going to be cold. The lakes are going to open up here, and yes, we will get those proverbial lake effect streamers developing off Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. The ground's going to be a bit warm, so it's going to be a little bit hard to accumulate. But nevertheless, we could see some slushy, maybe up to a half an inch to an inch in some areas here. That's why I've highlighted these areas into the blue, places like Syracuse, Rochester, Buffalo, Chautauqua area, Erie, Pennsylvania, Warren, off the Tug Hill here. Yes, it will be feeling really cold. Upper 20s, low 30s for highs, even some mid to upper 30s here, even along the coastline. And into your Saturday, we start to have high pressure crest overhead here, so this kind of shuts everything off. But it will be a very clear but very chilly and cold Saturday, not getting out of the 30s in most locations. So there you have it. And taking a look at my extended outlook, my five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Look at this. Heading on into your Wednesday, into Thursday, Wednesday, the warmest day into the upper 40s, near 50. But Thursday, we start to bump it down as that cold front approaches. Maybe a few scattered showers around, but staying mostly clear in most areas into your Friday. 
this is where things get really bad. Look at this overnight lows. Even some of the colder valleys Friday night could get down into the, do I dare say it, lower teens. And then highs, look at that, you're high on Friday, won't even get to 30, about 28. And then Saturday, about 30, 31, 32, somewhere in there. Not, not looking very good here. But we start to see a warming trend by Sunday here. We start to warm it up into the 40s once again. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark, comment Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at Media Mark. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget, my winter weather outlook will be coming out in the next couple days.